Hey teachers! So some of the most popular videos here on my YouTube channel are my Flipgrid videos for teachers. And since I started releasing those videos a couple of months ago, one of the most common questions that I receive is, is it possible to leave text comments for Flipgrid assignments? Uh, in the past, you've only been able to leave video. Well, I found out a few months ago that text comments were coming, but Flipgrid didn't tell me when. But I am excited to announce that text comments were released this week. So I'm going to show you how to set up your topic so that students can comment with text as well as video. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like from student view. All right, I am so excited to share this feature with you today because it is something so many of you have been asking for. It's literally one of the most popular questions that I receive. So let's not wait any longer. Let's go ahead and jump on my computer and I'm gonna show you how to create a topic and make it so that your students can leave text comments because you do have to turn the setting on for students to be able to do it. So let's go ahead and jump on my computer right now. All right, so you can see here that I am inside of my Flipgrid account and I just want to show you how to control the settings to allow for text comments. So we have a whole entire video about how to create topics. So if you want to learn just how to create a topic, I've linked the Flipgrid series in the description and check that out. I am just going to show you how to add the text comment feature. So when I am creating a topic, to turn on text comments, I'm gonna click on more options, and I am going to scroll down to where it says video features. And in this video features section, you're gonna see a subheading that says comments. And this is where you can now control what type of comments students leave for a topic. So it's automatically going to allow for video and text comments, and then you can control this to decide if you just want video comments or if you just want text comments. I like leaving both on just because it gives students options, and I think the more options we give students, the more likely they are to respond and the more likely to have it be a meaningful response. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you before we wrap up this video is now that you have that setting turned on, how can students actually leave the text comments and what does it look like on their end? So let's go ahead and jump back on the computer and I'll show you that real quick. Okay, so here is a Flipgrid topic that I have created from the student view. And now one important thing that I do want to note to you is that when I first heard that text comments were available, I thought that meant that students could initially respond with text comments. And the way this works is students must initially respond with video responses just like they always have, but then they're able to leave text comments on each other's video responses. So let me show you a little bit of what I mean by that. If you scroll down here, you'll notice there's all kinds of ways. We've got three options that students can record a response, but they're not able to type a response just yet. Now we have a response here that another student has left, and actually this was just a sample that I recorded so I could show you how this works. Now if I click on this here and scroll down, so after the student has viewed another student's video response, they can type their text comment in this space and add it. And I would need to be logged in with my Google account to be able to add that. But that is how they are going to leave those text comments. And this is still, I know it would be great if they could leave text comments initially, but it's still a step up from before because before they would still have to leave a video response if they wanted to comment on another student's response. Now another thing that I want to show you is that 
Every text comment also comes with the immersive reader, which we've talked about this in another one of my videos as well, which once again, if you go and check out this Flipgrid series um, that I've li linked in the description, you can find more about this. But the immersive reader is awesome. It will pull up the comments that students have typed, and there's all kinds of things that you can do with it to make the text bigger for students with vision impairments. Um, you can change colors, once again, to help students with vision impairments. Um, it will read it to you if you push Great play. Job. As you just saw when I clicked on it, it will also uh, give visual images to help students decode the words. If we come up here, uh, we can get it to highlight nouns or verbs or any parts of speech that we're interested in. Um, we can also change the language for our ESL learners. So this is a really awesome tool that will allow your text comments to be accessible for all of the students in your classroom. All right, so there you have it. Text comments are now available. And if you are looking to do even more with Flipgrid, don't forget we've got a whole series all about Flipgrid here in this channel. I have the series linked in the description and you can pretty much find anything and everything you want to know about Flipgrid in that series. So make sure to check that out. And then make sure to leave a comment below and let me know how excited are you about these text comments. Like I said, I get messages all the time asking about it, so let me know how excited you are. And then make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It definitely helps this channel to grow. And then it also helps you to make sure that you know when all of my latest videos uh, become available. So until next time, happy teaching.